Hey y'all, welcome back to the Honey Come Homestead. Sorry I've been in my A, but I do want to say thank you for been watching my channels. Thank you for the new subscribers that's been coming on. And y'all, while y'all watching this video, don't hesitate to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the all notifications that way you know every time I will come up to do you a video. So today I'm going to be making some uh, Philly cheese steak sliders um, and I'm going to show you how I do it and if you like it try it because it's not going to be a disappointment at all. So if you want to know how I do my little sliders Philly steak and cheese. Before we get started family and friends I just want to let y'all know the Hawk Lorenzo is under the weather but he still want to be seen and y'all just keep your prayers and for the hawk okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this dinner stay tuned first y'all we're gonna wash these hands make sure you wash your hands before you touch anything that's what I do and I've already done that and so that's the very first thing second thing you need to do is make sure your vegetables are clean too wash that too make sure you wash them okay and then last but not least make sure you wash that meat make sure you wash your meat okay I don't just put nothing on the stove. Wash your meat. Make sure it's good and clean too. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start off making, uh, cutting up our bell peppers and everything. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. And how I do mine, I go all the way around. Save your seeds if you are growing or trying to attempt to grow. Seeds are high out here. But as long as these vegetables have seeds, guess what? you can have you some food going in your backyard. Okay, so I'm gonna set that over to the side and um, we're gonna go ahead and cut up these vegetables and make sure that they are ready to get on that skillet, okay? So, um, this is how I do it and y'all do it the way you do it. If you have a certain way that you do things, but I'm just showing you how I do mine. Okay, so what I did, I cut them all up as you can see, and now I'm going to have them as far as in strips first, and that's all I'm going to do is just cut them in strips, and then um, after I get them in strips, then um, I get um, my onions, and now I'll start slicing them too, so I'm going to show you this, and then gonna move it in fast motion so we can get through it. <laughs>
y'all. So I don't know about you, but I love some seasoning. So what I'm going to use is some, uh, I like spice, a lot of spice. So I want to put a little bit of chili flakes in with my bell peppers and everything. Um, <clears throat> and I'm also going to put my onions in here. I like the guy got them. So I'm going to put them off in here as well, along with the bell peppers. And um, like I said, I like hot. We all like hot up in here. So I like some kick to um, my meal, some kind of spice. Plus it's cold outside, so you know that would warm us on up too. So I just want a little bit of uh, pepper flakes that I have made from the peppers that I have in the garden. And I also have some onion powder. And that's also some onions that I had harvested from the garden and I dehydrated them so I can have some. I got some more in the dehydrator because as you can see, I am totally out. So I do have that. That's why I've been in my egg because I've been doing a lot of that in there as well. I'm also going to put a little bit of green onions in as well. Y'all, we got to have some flavor. That could be and then we're going to have the last but not least, I want to put just a little bit of garlic salt in here. I did make my own garlic salt as well. Y'all better get it to Kroger and start making this stuff for yourself. So you won't have to go to the store and get any. So, and there is my garlic and the salt included. Do not use iodine salt at all, okay? And then um, I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil, olive oil to this, right? And then I'm going to mix this all up in here. And then I'm going to take you over to the stove so that way we can get that cooking, okay? This right here. And then we're going to work on the meat as well. Okay, honeybees, as you can see, we're over here at the stove. And I got my skillet over here on here. And I also got my temperature set up on my uh, eye. Got my vegetables ready to get cooking on the stove. Um, like I said, I'm waiting for it to get good and hot before I transport this over here. You can put a little oil in there if you like to. So that way you know you have a good equal amount both ways as it goes. You don't want it too oily, but you know you just want it to have a good stir fry to this because you are going to be cooking this more so but we're going to cook this until they get kind of soft but not soggy and then set your oven for 350 degrees as well too so that way it can be go ahead and preheating as we're getting this stuff rolling so i'm gonna quit talking and we're gonna go ahead and start putting the vegetables in here and like i said i'm gonna kind of stir it up a little bit while that eye is kind of getting hot. And um, if y'all can have smell of vision for real, these vegetables smells delicious. As well as it's gonna taste. Cause it's gonna taste good too. So um, as you can see, we got all this going on and everything. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these in here. The skillet is now being kind of hot in here. And we're gonna go ahead and toss these all in the skillet. Look at all those beautiful colors. Just beautiful. Now make sure we get all that in there. All that goodness in here. Okay. Set that to the side. We're going to go ahead and get these in. And get them cooking and then while this is cooking we're gonna go ahead and season our meat and get our bread ready for all the goodness just like that so we're gonna come back to this and I'm gonna take you over here to the meat so you can see as you can see we got our steak in here it's already been cut up and everything. Um, like I said, you can get this from Butcher Box, and that's what I did. Got some steaks from Butcher Box. Um, that way, you know it's grass fed, it's really good, and all that. And so, um, I like to cut it some more uh, so that way 
I know that I'm going to make sure I have equal parts when I get ready to uh, prepare this uh, meat on these buns. So that way you'll be able to see that. So I'm just cutting them up a little bit, just a little bit more. And then I'm going to season it as well. And I do not um, add any more kind of oil to this because over there where the bell peppers are cooking, I take my steak and I put that over there in the skillet after I remove the vegetables. And then after I remove the vegetables, I go ahead and get this cooking. And then when it's completely done with that, then I'll put my vegetables and my meat together. I do it separately. Now, some people do it to all together, but I do mine separately, okay? That's just how I do it. Do it the way you do it. This is just the way I do it. So, now that I got all the meat that I want to have in here cut up accordingly, then I'm going to go ahead and season this to my liking. So, what I'm going to have is, I would like to have a, like a little green onion taste to it because I'm adding a little bit of green onions to it. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of um, paprika to it. I'm also going to add a little bit of um, black pepper. I'm also going to add, let's see what I got here. So, green garlic. I like a little bit of garlic in here in my meat. Uh, all the stuff that you see, y'all, is all coming from the garden. This is all organic seasonings that I made up. I dehydrated, and so I wouldn't have to go to the store and get any of this stuff. And so it smells really good in here. And it's really good that you can dehydrate and make your own seasoning. Okay, um, I also have some bell pepper seasoning. And um, this is really good. It's a great tenderizer for meat. It's good to sprinkle some of that in there. This right here is smoked. So that's pretty much all. One more thing, I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning salt as well in here. Don't require a whole lot of salt. So I'm going to just mix all this together. As you can see, that's what I'm doing. And so while this is kind of like sitting here working itself in this meat, right? We're going to just let that just sit off to the side and just let it sit there in for a minute. And I'm going to get some, um, a little bit of sauce to put in here. And it's my secret sauce. So that's one thing I don't want to tell you, but I, I showed you everything else. And I'm going to put some of my secret sauce in here. And then we're going to go over here and check on these bell pepper. Hey okay, y'all, so while this is still cooking, I'm trying to just break it down so it's kind of soft and everything kind of like a steam in a sense because we're going to be putting this in the oven but we want to bring these flavors up to the top that's what we want to do it's just bring a lot of these flavors because it's going to bring its own little natural juices up from uh, these peppers and, um, and you just want to just kind of keep it going as far as even and so while that's still doing its thing, uh, we will be working on the meat as well. But um, now I'm going to show you the next thing that I'm doing while this is preparing. And then we'll just go ahead and continue on with the next step. Hello, back over here. I have taken the bell peppers out and I will let you see what that looks like. But I left the remnants of those bell peppers and the seasonings off in here. So now we're going to put our steaks and stuff in there. And we're going to go ahead and cook that up. And that way you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. I'm trying to heat up some. So that way we can go ahead and get our meat cooking. And I'm going to show you 
what the bell peppers look like. And this is what the bell pepper and onions and stuff look like. It's good and hot, it's translucent, it's soft but not soggy. And so when this meat get done cooking, we are going to put that meat in here with the vegetables or I might just leave them separate and just do it separately but I usually just put it together so when this get done cooking um, then I'll show you what I do with that stuff in the meantime let's get our cheese on our grill okay y'all so as you can see I got me a pan here inside this pan I got some butter and then I'm going in my bag that I have I made me some sliders those sandwich rolls right here and so um, if you don't know how to make your own bread, feel free to look back on my videos so that way you can see how I made up some bones and some things like that. Um, I will do an update on there because that's why I beg, but I'll have a video coming up soon on how I made uh, these little roll buns right here. So what I'm going to do is take these buns and um, slice them up, put the bottoms, you know, in here. And then, um, then I'm going to put the, the vegetables and stuff like that on there and the meat on it and then put my cheeses in there and then put the tops back on there and then, um, and then put them in the oven. And we're gonna have our Philly cheese steaks. So right now, I'm going to show you how I put these buns in here. and I got the cheeses. So the first cheese I have is pepper jack and I got that. Um, the other cheese I have is the four cheese blend as you can see right there. And then the other one I have the Swiss. I have the Swiss cheese. So that's what I'm getting ready to put on these sandwiches right here. And, uh, and you'll see how I do that. Rotate, and that way you can see and get a better view. So, I usually take cheese and go ahead and open that up. And so, right there. Pepper Jack. Three different cheeses, y'all. <laughs> it kind of got stuck on each other, didn't it? 
And I'm gonna do all of them like that, and I'll come back and show you how I did that. And now we're gonna be getting ready to uh, assemble it, and that way we can get the ball rolling. And as you can see, we got the cheese on here, and now we're gonna get the meat, and I'm gonna cut that up some more on this tray here, and then we're gonna start putting our stuff right up on here and start assembling it for it to go in the oven. Okay, y'all. So, like I said one last time, I try to cut up the meat some more make sure that we have enough to go to each slider that we bite into okay man if y'all can smell this meat this steak ooh, it smells good and i don't know about y'all but we do love some cheese as you can see and i will be adding one more layer of cheese when i get through assembling um this meal right here for tonight and believe me <laughs> i will be making this again but i'm gonna be using some bigger buns but i wanted to make some sliders tonight so that way we can all have you know some little sandwiches tonight that's just tonight just so i can show you that you can do it this way okay so now that is good kind of cut it Still got some big nice pieces in here. If we gotta go back and cut some more, we will. But we want enough to go around on here on this. Okay, so now to assemble. As you can see that right there, we're getting ready to stick these veggies on top of here. Using this spoon because this spoon, let me put that because it's easy. I mean, that spoon, I'm not gonna use that, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. And it's gonna be really good and really tasty. As you can see, so it's already smelling good. Make sure you preheat your oven for 350. Make sure you do that. I know there's going to be plenty less because I am going to use a bun, a bigger bun. <laughs> I can just see it coming. But yeah, that's fine. So, okay. Okay. Nobody have stepping with anything. Nothing. We don't be putting a little bit. We're gonna put a lot on here. Okay. There's no such thing as a little bit in this house. We're gonna be loading. We're gonna be loading. But we're gonna cut it anyway. Again. Y'all can use whatever rolls. If you like I said, if you don't know how to make you some rolls. You can use Hawaiian rolls, whatever rolls you want to use to make up some sliders, okay? Whatever you want to use, whatever you want to use, it is all absolutely to you. I didn't have to go to the store to buy any because my motto is if you can grow it, if you can make it at home to keep from going to the grocery store, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to nobody's grocery store to get any dinner rolls, any type of bread, when I can make it myself. And that's how I'm going to do, and I'm going to continue on doing that. Okay, so we've got all that together, as you can see. All beautiful and colorful, right? <clears throat> Just beautiful and colorful. I see that. Yeah. Beautiful and colorful. Got onions in here and everything. Yeah. Everything. Put some green in here, right? Yeah, put some green in here. Maybe we can have a taste of all the beautiful bell peppers. Yeah. All of that. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so now we're going to do our meat as well. Let's to the side. And now we're getting ready to do our meat. Here we get a nice portion of meat on every last one of these. Let's see. By all means, you know I'm not trying to be cute. I'm trying to make these sandwiches. You know, I'm not. Because I know if I use a fork trying to get this meat on this on these vegetables, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Just remember, my hands are clean. <laughs> are clean. That's on point, and that's just what it is. They are clean. They are clean. Getting this meat on here. Do y'all see this? Don't that look delicious? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Delicious. Delicious. Yes. Y'all, <laughs> hit a like for this video. While y'all watching, go on and like this video. Go on and like it. Don't hesitate. Like. Subscribe it. Hit a comment down below. Yeah, don't play. Y'all know this look good. Y'all know it look good. Yeah, you see I'm coming back around. I'm coming back around with this meat. Yes, I am. I'm loving these. Yeah. 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 Okay. So now you see that? You see that going on? Okay, now we can ready to put that... Um, mozzarella cheese on here. Give my little tail, one my little fingertips. Okay. Yeah. Look, don't play. Lovey, no, she don't be playing in the kitchen. Ain't nobody trying to be cute when it comes to food. Okay. Now we're going to put the cheese on here. You see that, don't you? You see it, don't you? Yep, we're going to put that cheese on here. Yep. Look at that. That's more cheese, y'all. There's more cheese. We got that pepper jack cheese and mozzarella cheese. Okay? Yeah. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. I'm going to push this back a little bit so that way I can go ahead and cut. Yeah. That cheese, yep. We're gonna go ahead and get these on here. As you can see, probably should coat anything. We're not sure if it coat anything. Yep, it's going like in a cross. Can you see that effect going on? Yep, I can. Yep, I can. If I get all these up, I'm going to show you what it looks like after I get these all on here. All right. Hey, y'all. So now that you see all of that goodness, all of that goodness on these little sliders, now we're getting ready to put our bun tops on. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're getting ready to put them on here. That's a small one. Uh, that's a big one. Yes, a big one right there. And it doesn't matter if it's big or small. Because guess what? It's going to get eight. It's going to get eight. I don't know about y'all, but ain't nobody trying to be cute. I told you ain't nobody trying to be cute. These buns are no way perfect. No way the same size. I don't care. It's going to be eight. This is the L&L Honeycomb Homestead, y'all. This is L&L Honeycomb Homestead, y'all. Okay, so here are the buns. You see them? You see them? They look fire, don't they? Okay, so we can ready to put these in the oven, and then I'll be back when 25 minutes or less is up so we can get our taste on. Mm -mm. 
And there you have it. Look at these sliders, y'all. Don't they look delicious? Delicious, delicious, delicious. And you know I'm getting ready to try me a bite. All right. So see all of that goodness all in here. I'll pull you up a little closer so you can see that cheese and those bell peppers. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks good. So I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to try this out before the hot gets in there. Sliders. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe to our channel, please. And y'all have yourself a wonderful and blessed day. Bye bye.